When it comes to protecting your kidney health, few things are as important as managing your blood pressure. And managing your blood pressure starts with knowing your blood pressure. We're going to talk about why that's important and what I use to monitor my blood pressure coming right up. Kidney Warriors, James here with Dadvice TV, your online kidney health coach. And this is video number 72 in my journey from stage five kidney failure to stage three kidney great and still going. Now, part of my recovery from kidney failure to kidney great has relied around managing my blood pressure. Managing your blood pressure is extremely important for kidney patients. Now let's talk about why first. Inside your kidneys, there are blood vessels that are kind of all twisted up in a, almost like a knot. Those are the filters that when blood is pushed through using force, blood pressure, toxins and waste products are pushed through the filters and then they go into your bladder and whew, you get rid of them thanks to your kidneys. Now when that pressure is not controlled, it goes up and it can break those sensitive little blood vessels, damaging those filters, damaging the blood vessels going to those filters. And when that damage happens, well, it's damage to your kidneys. And guess what manages your blood pressure? Your kidneys do. So the more damage to your kidneys, ah, the worse your blood pressure is. And the worse your blood pressure is, oh, the more damage to your kidneys. You see where I'm going? We don't want to go there. So that's why it's very important to always know what your blood pressure is and manage it by working with your doctor if it's not within the right range. Now, when I was diagnosed with stage five kidney failure, my blood pressure, oh my goodness, it was out of control. I mean, crazy high and my doctors had to put me on different medications in order to get it under control. And it took them about a month and a half of tweaking which meds, what's the dosage, and what time of day did I take them? Because getting your blood pressure under control for just part of the day, yeah, that doesn't work because you're still gonna get damage when it goes crazy high. Now, in order to tweak my medications, I had two choices. I could go visit the doctor three times a day, every morning, afternoon, and evening, and you know, pay to have my blood pressure taken, or well, that's inconvenient and expensive, or I could monitor at home, which is what I did. I used a blood pressure monitor at home and took my blood pressure every morning, every afternoon, and every evening, and I shared those with my doctors, which allowed them to tweak the medication and get my blood pressure under control. And once my blood pressure was under control, we stopped further damage to my kidneys. And then I could focus on improving my kidney health. Now, none of that could have been done without monitoring my blood pressure multiple times a day and knowing what my blood pressure was. Now, I've used a number of blood pressure monitors throughout my life, and none have come close to the convenience and ease of use as the one I use today. This is it, the Withings BPM Connect. And when I say this is it, this is it. This is everything. We're gonna talk more about it in a second. But first, I wanna be completely transparent. Withings sent me that BPM Connect at absolutely no charge. They reached out to me and said, hey, you wanna Give this guy a try, use it, see what you think about it, and then maybe do a video review about it. I said, sure thing. You know why? Because I already have the Withings Smart Scale and I absolutely love it. It's great. But even though I got sent this unit completely free, no cost to me, this is all my own opinion, my own thoughts. Withings didn't get to say, hey, here's exactly what we want you to say or anything like that. All right, so I'm giving my own honest review of the BPM Connect blood pressure monitor. And guess what? During this broadcast, we have representatives from Withings here in the live chat. 
So if you have any questions about it, feel free, type them in the chat and they'll be able to chime in and answer those. Now, I want everybody that's out there, say hello in the chat right now and tell us where you're at and let us know, do you currently use a blood pressure monitor at home to keep an eye on your blood pressure? Just go ahead, type it in there, let us know. Where are you from? And do you use a blood pressure monitor today at home to keep an eye on your blood pressure? Now back to the BPM Connect. Let's take a quick tour of it. I think you guys would really like this. So first of all, it's very modern, very thin, smooth, lightweight, not a lot of stuff going on here. We got a USB port, we got one single button, and we got this awesome display right here. Now I know what you're thinking. James, there's no display there. No, trust me. There is a cool display hiding right here, and I'm gonna show it to you in a few moments. But this thing, it's so small, so easy to take with you, so lightweight, I and mean, that just makes it really cool to start with. Now let's get into the really cool stuff. First of all, this little guy is wireless. There's nothing missing. No hidden wires, no big old tubes going to armbands or anything like that. Completely wireless. Also, USB charge port right here. There is a built-in rechargeable battery. You plug in a standard, not some expensive, proprietary, easy to lose cable. You plug in a standard USB cable and charge this puppy up. Now let's do something real quick. We're gonna play a little game. How long do you think this battery lasts if I charge it all the way up and I take my blood pressure once a day with this? Put in the comments. We're gonna see who, who's the closest guess on this. I'm gonna tell you, it's longer than a week, okay? Don't be saying a week. It's, it's, this thing is really awesome. How long do you think this will last on a single charge? I plug it in and I take my blood pressure once a day. Remember, it's gotta fill that cuff up. It's gotta let the pressure out. It's gotta monitor it. Give it a thought. Put your guess there. We'll, we'll answer that in a few moments. Also, when I said um, it's wireless, you know, there's no tubes or anything like that. It is also wireless in how it communicates. This thing, not only is it Bluetooth, so if your phone's nearby, it will sync your readings to your phone. It has Wi-Fi. And that is a huge, huge point right here. With Wi-Fi, when I take my blood pressure, I don't have to have my phone next to me. It can be in the other side of my house, in my office, then I'm in my, my bedroom taking my blood pressure. It still syncs because it goes through the Wi-Fi and finds my phone and shares the data. That also means it's so much more reliable at syncing. Now I had before this one of those big old giant box units with all the cables and the giant arm cuff. As a matter of fact, I had to buy the XL arm cuff, which cost extra money. This one, the cuff that comes with it, works with everybody, all the different sizes. You don't have to pay more to get different cuffs. Um, with it, syncing was a pain in the butt. I had to set my phone right next to it, hit a sync button with the app already open on my phone because it wouldn't send it to my phone if the app wasn't already open, and then watch these little blue things bouncing around and hope that it didn't give me an error after 30 seconds or a minute or something like that, which happens so often. It discourages you from wanting to take your blood pressure. This never has it not synced. And as soon as it's done taking your blood pressure, woo, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, it's synced. You don't have to do diddly squat. I mean, <laughs> that right there alone makes this guy awesome. And speaking of syncing, this thing syncs to the Withings HealthMate app, which happens to be the exact same app that works with all Withings products. So my smart scale, which already syncs to my phone every morning when I get on it, and it gives me a number I really don't like, I wish it was lower, but hey, it's reality. Same app also gets my data from this little guy. And it will share it with my Apple Health app. So everything about my health is in one place because I happen to use the, the Apple ecosystem. But if you're not an Apple user, you can just go into the Withings HealthMate app and everything's there. And it's very easy to use, very visual and graphical, lots of charts, even has a lot of tips that it'll give you based on your own lifestyle. And this is the best feature of it. 
If you want to share that information with your doctor, remember that is critical in managing your blood pressure and reducing further kidney damage, okay? We don't want additional damage. You can send a health report to your doctor from within the app. Okay, you just go in there, pick who you want to send it to, and boom, it creates a PDF file and sends it off to them with your information. That right there is awesome. So not only is it easy to use, portable, accurate, uh, got the USB that's standard and all that, it makes it easy to share the information with your doctor. All right, now remember, we asked about the battery. All right, let's answer that question. So let's see who got the closest to this. So if I charge this up, it's very lightweight, okay? It's very small. I can put this in a backpack. I can put it in my coat pocket, take it to work whatever I need, it's not heavy at all. And it's surprisingly light when you see this and you learn that there's a battery in there. It doesn't feel like there is a battery. But if I charge this battery up, USB doesn't take very long and I take my blood pressure once a day, this battery, are you ready for this? You better be seated, will last for six, not weeks, months, yes, you charge this thing twice a year and you can take your blood pressure every single day and sync it to your phone. And then you can go in, share the information with your doctors, look at what's happening with your blood pressure and keep an eye on it. I mean, six months by taking it once a day. Now I take mine three times a day. So it should last about two months. I've charged this when I got it. And then I did charge it once again later, just because, hey, I was you know, near a, a, a USB port. Like, ah, let me just go ahead and charge this. And I'm still using it and it works perfectly. Um, and it's probably still got another month of using it three times a day before I got to charge it again. That is unbelievable. I'm used to being tethered to a wall socket. And when I travel for work, which I do quite a bit, I always had to take that big bulky machine with the all the tubes and I'd hook it up and give me an air. Oh, the tube thing wasn't tight somewhere and to check it, make sure I'm plugged in the outlet. I'm in a hotel. Those outlets aren't all over the place. They're weird spots. There's not many of them. Oh, just a headache. USB, charge it twice a year. You're good. You got it. All right, so now I'm sitting at my desk. I put the unit on my arm, really easy. Just line it up right there, boom, you're all set. There's only a single button. Let me show you how it works. Now you should sit down and rest for five minutes before you take your blood pressure. That doesn't matter if you're at the doctor's office or you're doing it at home, but I don't want you guys to sit here and watch me sit here and rest for five minutes. So it's gonna come out with a high reading right now. So you're gonna go ahead you rest, relax your arms down and you hit the one little button and that's gonna turn it on. You're gonna see the display. Boop, little check mark, BP for blood pressure. Now there's different settings. You can have it take three and give you the average. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the button and you can hear it inflating. And there's a little graphic on there showing me that it's a little like, like Knight Rider. Woo, 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 woo type graphic. It's not making a noise, that's just me. And we're almost done, it's inflating and you shouldn't talk when you're taking your blood pressure, and there it is. And of course, my blood pressure is very high because I was moving around and talking and stuff. It is now going to say my name, James, going across, look at that screen right there. You can't even feel it, it's underneath the plastic. This can work with multiple people in your household, tracking their blood pressure and syncing it with the app. Now, two cool things that you may not have noticed. First of all, did you just see it sync? It did it, it synced, nothing else for me to do. I open the app, it's there, all the data. I go to my Apple Health, it's all there. Don't have to worry about it. The other thing that was very different about this unit, and you may have not noticed that, it never did that deflate, that that we're used to. And that's because this one measures your blood pressure on the inflation, as it's inflating it, it's measuring your blood pressure. And that has two benefits. First of all, it does not have to overinflate, which just squeezes your arm, you know, if you've got high blood pressure, and 
It's much more comfortable, which makes it more likely for you to go ahead and take your blood pressure when needed. This little guy is the perfect blood pressure monitor for kidney warriors. It's small, it's lightweight, easy to use, accurate, six month battery, charge it with the standard USB port. No wires, it's all wireless. It also Wi-Fi and Bluetooth syncing with the app. Great app, easy to use, lots of graphs. Want to share the information with your doctors and that's the important part. Boom, it'll send them a report. It's got everything you need in it. What more could you ask? Ah, there's one thing. It doesn't come with a travel case. You have to buy that separately, um, but it's cool. There is one available. I travel a lot and usually I'll just wrap it up like this, stick it in my small bag that has all my blood pressure meds, or I'll throw it in my backpack with my laptop computer or throw it in a jacket pocket, taking it to work if I'm going somewhere so I can still take my blood pressure three times a day and then it sinks. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, it's all there in my phone. I didn't have to worry about it being next to me and have a big bulky machine and plugging into a power outlet. Ugh, none of that stuff. Super simple right here. Now for kidney warriors, okay? I'm being serious right here. Managing your blood pressure is not an option. You have to manage your blood pressure. Keep it under control. We've got to do that to prevent further damage to our kidneys. Because once those filters, the nephrons made out of blood vessels are all like a giant knot. Once those start getting damaged, we can't repair those. Once the blood vessels leading to and from those get damaged, they get scar tissue. We can't repair those. So managing your blood pressure is a top priority for all kidney patients. After that, keep an eye on your blood sugar and you eat the right diet. That has been the key to my recovery from kidney failure to kidney great. And I don't suffer any symptoms right now. And a huge part of that is I took the effort to make sure I had a home blood pressure monitoring kit so that I could work with my doctors to get it under control as soon as possible. And now the best part, how can you buy one of these at a discount? Of course I got a discount set up for you. Use the link below and use the coupon code DADVICE and you will get 20% off purchases of $99 or more of Withings products. You can get one of these, pick up one of those Withings scales too. They're awesome. And it's the same app and they sync over Wi-Fi. Now this discount does not apply to a couple items. It excludes the Scan Watch, Thermo, BPM Core, and Move ECG. And you better hurry though. This offer expires at the end of July, 2020. Now I wanna make it clear, Withing sent me one of these at no cost for me to use, but everything I've said is all my own opinion. And that this link right here on the screen, I do not get any kickback, no marketing, no commission, nothing like that if you use it. This is a true, real discount. You guys know me, all right? I only recommend products that I actually use, that I actually believe in, that help me kick kidney disease to the curb. And whenever I promote a discount, that is a true, real discount. It's not some way to try to drive sales so that I can fill my wallet up with money because that ain't gonna do anything for me. We've got to beat kidney disease. Our community is great together. And the more of us that are healthier, the better it is. Now, I have one more request for you guys. I wanna know in the comments, what do you think? of the Withings BPM Connect that I've just talked about and I kind of demoed and showed you it. Do you like it? Does it look cool? You know, do you think this is something you would use? I'm hoping you guys are gonna say, holy cow, James, it's awesome, I want one. And do you currently use one of those old traditional ones? You know, the big boxes with the tubes and the, the arm cuff and you gotta plug it in the wall. Do you currently use one of those and was seeing how easy and awesome this little guy is, is it enough to convince you, hey, you need to step it up. It's time to upgrade to something that's easier, that's reliable, that will encourage you to consistently take your blood pressure so you can share it with your doctor to help prevent further kidney damage. Was this enough to convince you? I'm hoping it was. 
but let me know. If you're not convinced, tell us why. Why do you think, you know, the old fashioned way or not monitor your blood pressure is the way to go? I'm hoping none of you fall into that category because you gotta stay on top of your blood pressure, okay? You got to manage your blood pressure to prevent further kidney damage. That is the number one thing when it comes to, to kicking kidney disease to the curb, you gotta stop further damage. That starts with managing your blood pressure, managing your blood sugar, stopping all the bad habits that you might do like smoking and stuff like that. Then once you got all those things done, that's where you focus on your diet to give your body the nutrients it needs so that it can get strong and powerful and give you the energy you want. All right, everybody, it has been a pleasure sharing all this with you today, and I'll see you in the next video.